So third time's the charm. I finally got this guy to bite after two hours of him circling. And I got most of it on GoPro, except for the actual bite. Cause he bit whenever I pulled the GoPro up to, to change the batteries, but still got lots of amazing footage of this guy. I made this live well for him. Not a bad pike. So I was just reeling in this perch and something completely destroyed it. It was probably a pike, it had it in its mouth for a few seconds and I'll show you the damage. It completely ripped its stomach open, tore out all its guts and all the eggs are hanging out. And then its dorsal fin is basically gone and somehow he's still barely alive. But I'll try and put him back lake he's gonna die obviously now but wow so i just caught the second pike of the day it's slightly longer and slightly fatter than the other one probably about half a pound bigger really nice fat fish i'm gonna keep them in here until the end of the day and then get some photos but yeah i didn't even have to drill holes to make the live wall this time I literally just shoveled out this rectangle and the water just filled into it because of all the water that's on the surface right now. So it's kind of convenient in that way, actually. But yeah, two really nice pike. They seem to be doing pretty well in here too. Just bathing in the sun. So my GoPro died halfway through that last fight there on the tip-up, but I landed a third pike, about the same size as the first one I got earlier. And I have all three of them in the live well. I'm probably gonna keep two of them because my dad asked me to keep a couple fish. I'll probably release the one that's slightly bigger just because it's more of an important fish for spawning and all that. But yeah, overall, it's been a great day.
big female. A nice kick to say goodbye. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time out on the ice again.